dear students in this class we discuss the sampling distribution of the sample proportion as we have discussed in the previous classes to make inferences about population mean mu we must know the sampling distribution of the estimator x bar sampling distribution that is the distribution of x bar is used to make inferences about population parameter mu similarly to make inference about population proportion p we use the sample proportion p hat so in order to use p hat to make inference about population proportion p we must know the sampling distribution of the variable p hat we know that p is a parameter p hat is a random variable because its value vary from one sample to another sample as a proportion can always be regarded as a mean we can use sampling distribution of x bar to derive the sampling distribution of p hat p hat we since p hat is always a mean we can use the sampling distribution of x bar to derive the sampling distribution of p hat let us see how for a sample of size n for a sample of size n mean of p hat is equal to p that is mean of the sample proportion is equal to population proportion and uh, standard deviation of p hat is equal to root of p into 1 minus p root of p into 1 minus p by n so mean of p hat is equal to the sample proportion p standard deviation of p hat is root of p into 1 minus p by n and p hat is approximately normally distributed for large samples for a large sample p hat is approximately normally distributed so 1 2 3 so the accuracy of normal approximation depends on n and p the accuracy of normal approximation depends on n and p if p is close to 0.5 if p is close to 0.5 the approximation is quite accurate even for even for moderate n so even if n is not very large if p is close to 0.5 then the distribution of p hat is normal and farther away p is from 0.5 larger must be the population size i mean larger must be the sample size n for uh, the approximation to be accurate and as a rule of thumb we say that the approximation is accurate when np and n into p 
p into 1 minus p. Approximation is accurate when n p and n into 1 minus p are greater than p. Approximation is accurate when when n p and n into 1 minus p both are greater than 5. And when we say n is large, what we say is n p and n into 1 minus p greater than 5. n into 1 minus p greater than 5. Greater than 5. So, the approximation depends on n and p. If p is close to 0.5, then even for moderate em, p is p hat is approximately normal. If p is farther away, then large sample size is required for this approximation to be accurate. And uh, as a rule of thumb, the approximation is accurate is np and n into 1 minus p is greater than 5. And we say that n is large is if np and n into 1 minus p is greater than 5. And uh, as an example, suppose that 19.1 percent of the the Indian or US whatever employees in a country play hooky at least once in a year. That is the population proportion. Then P is equal to P is equal to point one nine one. P is equal to point one nine nine. And N is equal to thousand and ten. Thousand and ten. And P is equal to uh, P is equal to point one nine one. We assume point one nine one. Then for large and we know that for uh, large samples of size 1000 ton, if you calculate n into p, n into 1 minus p, p is equal to 0.19 into 10, both are greater than 5. So, n is greater than, I mean, uh, n is large as per this criteria. Then, p hat is normally distributed with mu of p hat is equal to p 0.191 and uh, the variance is given as root of sigma of p hat is given as root of 0.191 into 1 minus 0.191 by n the value is equal to 0.012. So, variance 0 0.012 square. So, p hat is normal with the mean and variance. The standard deviation root of this quantity is 0 0.012. That is the sampling distribution of p hat. And this sampling distribution is used for constructing confidence intervals and also for testing the significance of population proportion. Topics which we will consider in the next class.